Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a full review of the upcoming Buff Bunny Under the Sea collection. So this collection is launching on Saturday, June 12th at 12 p.m. CST. As always, I'll list the other times on the screen here. So I feel like this is the launch that I have been waiting for because since November, we have not had a launch that's had like a lot of either Nubri or Energy fabrics. And in my opinion, those are just the best fabrics that Buff Bunny makes. The Nubri fabric is like my favorite activewear fabric of like all time. So super pumped that we have a lot of those materials today. I also feel like there's a lot of really cute like sub collections within this collection today. There's basics, there's like solid bright colors, there's like contrast stitching neon prints, there's nudes, and it's just a really fun collection. And there's a lot of really great large cup size friendly bras in the collection too. Like honestly, like most of the bras are very large cup size friendly. So that's super exciting. Also, before I have to talk anymore, I have two like pretty bad canker sores on the inside of my lower lip right now. So if I'm talking a little weird um, or if my lip's looking a little funny, that's why I'm trying to do my best, but it's a little painful. As always, if you are shopping the launch and you wanna support me, you can use code Catherine at checkout. It's not a discount code or anything, just supports me, helps me keep making these videos. And if you do that, make sure to enter my monthly giveaway. The link's in the description and you can enter the monthly giveaway like as many times as you want. If you have like more orders and more codes that you use, like you can keep entering the monthly giveaway for more chances to win. So something that I thought was really cute in this collection was they have like this little lookbook. I'm not sure if they're going to be sending these out with orders. I hope that they are because it's so cute. It kind of just gives you a little taste of like the capsule collections they have within the launch and it's just like really fun. It just shows like all the work behind the designs. They also had a new video on the Buff Bunny Collection YouTube page that walked through the designs of all the items, which I thought was very fun to see as well. So I'll link that video down below too. So for every item launching, I'll list the size range as well as the fabric and the colors that it comes in on the screen. And without further ado, let's get into the colors. So just going to super quickly walk through all of the colors and then I have a bunch of color comparisons to show you guys from from past launches because there's been a lot of Buff Bunny blues around. So gotta, gotta go through those. So first is Atlantis Teal. There's also a deep Atlantis Teal, but I don't have that color. H2O Blue, which is like a true royal blue. Tiki Yellow, nice neon. Miami Vice Pink. There's also Ivory, which is kind of an off-white. There's also Sandy Cheeks Nude, which is like a lighter tan. And Tan Lines, which is a slightly darker tan. Then there's White, of course. Black, Midnight Navy. And then their new reflection prints. This is all I got in the reflection prints, but I do have all three colors. So this is reflection print teal. Reflection print teal also matches Atlantis teal. Reflection print pink, which does match Miami Vice pink. And then reflection print aqua. So I'm going to separate my review based on fabrics. So there's kind of four main fabrics this launch. We'll get into each of them as they come. But first is the energy fabric. So the energy fabric is my second favorite fabric from Buff Bunny. It's very lightweight. It's single brush, so just brush on the outside and brush just kind of means like a slight fuzziness. Here's a close-up of the fabric and even though it's brushed, the energy fabric is very pill resistant. 70% nylon, 30% spandex and it's probably Buff Bunny's stretchiest fabric as well. So we're gonna start off with the Siren Sports Bra. This is the color Atlantis Teal. It comes in five other colors as well. It's definitely large cup size friendly. It's a slight long line, has kind of like this triangle type shape in the front and then the back kind of splits into these double strapped details. So it's a cute little strappy back. This goes for all of their sports bras. They always have some little stitching separating the cup pad area. So the cup pads kind of stay where they need to be. They're not sewn in, but they're restricted. And their cup pad color matches the sports bra color. All right, guys, the siren bra. I mean, are we seeing this coverage right now? Full side boob coverage. And there's just like a hint of cleavage, but there's this little panel in here so you don't get too much. I just always get so excited when there's sports bras that come out that are like catered to a larger bus because this is definitely a new favorite Buff Bunny full coverage bra. I mean, in addition, it's actually decently supportive. I'd say medium, maybe medium to high support. It's more than the under pressure bra, but similar to like the Rosa bra, maybe a little bit less. I think it's such a cute shape too. It's got like this little like triangle like shape and it's very slightly long line. I wouldn't say it's like a super long line bra. Um, I would still consider it like a bra, not like a crop top. No harsh elastics. It is just like a band of the fabric down here with like a little seam. So I think if you're in between, you could probably size down because there's nothing really that's gonna be like too tight, but definitely true to size overall. Has this really cute back that's like kind of a racer back at the top, but then becomes like open, has like a little extra strappy details. There's a lot of really great large cup size friendly bras in this collection, which is just what your girl likes to see. Thank you. 
Next, we have the Siren Biker Shorts. These are a nine inch inseam, so they're a pretty long a biker short. Energy fabric, and I have a feeling these are gonna be pretty popular. So first of all, they have a super high waist, but it's also a cross waist, and it's super flattering. And in addition to that, they also have the kind of little butterfly back detailing glute contour situation, like the Legacy leggings. Personally, I don't know if these beat the Legacy leggings for me. I'm a little bit torn. It's like the cross waist really gets me, but I love the simplicity of the Legacy leggings. But anyway, let's try it on. Also also for all of the bottoms, I'll be including photos of the rise and the waistband measurements, all for size small. I got all size smalls. And I will say that both the siren leggings and shorts did measure a little bit smaller in the waist than some of the other leggings. That might be because they're a little more high rise, so they're going to like a smaller point of your waist. But I think the siren waistband in a size small is like two inches less flat than like the rosa legging waistband. So just keep that in mind for sizing, but let's try it on. Okay, we also just have like a couple waistband differences. So I have them all lined up over here and definitely the biggest at the bottom are the Rosa leggings. So I definitely find those like more true to size. The Wave biker shorts and Loch Ness leggings are a little bit smaller than the smallest are the Siren leggings and biker shorts. So I also think that these go up the highest and like snatch the waist in a little more. All right guys, the Siren biker shorts. I love these so much. So even though that these are a little bit smaller in the waist than some of the other leggings, I think it could be for a couple reasons. One, the energy fabric is a little stretchier than the Nubri. So that could be one reason why, you know, maybe a little bit smaller to give a little more compression in the waist. I don't feel like the waist is so compressive that I am being pushed out of anything. Actually, I like, really like the waist compression and it comes up a little higher as well. So it goes to the smallest point of your waist and kind of snatches you in. So, I mean, I hope you guys see the waist snatching going on here because it's pretty incredible. I've tried a couple cross waist leggings in, you know, my experience trying leggings. And I think these are more like the airy cross waist ones, except with more compression um, than the Alphalete ones. The Alphalete surface cross waist was really low on me. Like they were almost like a low rise and I didn't find it like a super flattering waist for me. This one is clearly a true high rise, goes super high up. And it also comes down a little bit in the front with this little V. So it provides a little extra lower tummy control. And you have like a lot of thickness right at this like front area here. Cause you have like four layers of fabric. So I'm getting very nice tummy control. Doesn't extend all the way down, but to like mid tummy. So we have no front seam on these. It is one of the like slightly elongated crotch gussets. So maybe visible from some angles. These are a nine inch inseam. So definitely a longer biker short. If you are one of my short gals, they might go all the way down to your knees. As a tall girl, it's going like, I'd say three quarters of the way down my thigh. And unfortunately it is pretty snug at the bottom. Like it's past the bulk of my thighs. So I'm not getting like an irritating amount of compression, but the seam definitely is tight on me down here. So if you are worried about thigh space, I would for sure size up. I honestly think I could wear a medium in this, no problem considering the waist is a little smaller and this is snug. So I would consider sizing up. I don't think you have to size up, but if you're in between, for sure size up. And if you're considering thigh space, size up. And then we have the back, the signature legacy, little like butterfly detail here, super flattering. It does go above the glutes. So very flattering on the glutes and it just has this extra little detail. So I think you have like a cute little detail front and back and here is the back straight on in terms of cellulite coverage most of the colors are like medium to dark shades so you might get some but this material isn't like the thickest so i wouldn't expect total cellulite proof the energy fabric in terms of sweat wicking i find it to show some sweat but it dries very quickly let's do a little sit test should be pretty good um yeah i don't see these rolling down and they're not cutting in, there's no like band at the top or anything, and they rebound pretty well. The 
siren leggings are coming in four colors. They're a 26 inch inseam, so kind of a seven eighths on me. Very similar to the siren bike shorts. We have a kind of like V cross waist, details in the back and a very slightly extended crotch gusset and then no major details down the leg. Okay, siren leggings. So 26 inch inseam, I believe. They are definitely seven eighths on me. I'm not gonna go into like too many details because they're essentially the same as the siren biker shorts, except obviously they go all the way down. I also find that these run like a hair small. So if you're in between, I would for sure size up. They're definitely pretty compressive on me, which the energy fabric in general isn't super compressive unless it's a little bit small. So these ones feel about a medium compression and almost a high compression down here. It's definitely pretty snug on my calves, but I do have big calves. Flattering on the waist, no front seam. Might be able to see the gusset a little bit again, depending on your angle flattering on the glutes. I think that thigh size is less important for the leggings in terms of sizing because you don't have a seam to go across the thighs to cause any problems, but it would still size up if you're in between sizes. In terms of camel, no front seam. Um, in this size, I don't really have any extra fabric, um, but always with no front seam leggings, you're gonna get like a little bit of hugging. Next, we have the Wave Biker Shorts. I think that these are my favorite thing launching. Not only do I love the contrast stitching, but I just love like the seven inch inseam of these. These are a shorter biker short than the Siren Bikers. They just have a classic waistband, also energy fabric, so super brushed and soft. And I just think that this contrast stitching is so cute and so unique, it's super fun. You can kind of mix and match with the tops with this too. So this one's only coming in this colorway and also all black and then pink with blue contrast. Here are the bike shorts. So these are actually only a seven inch inseam. So they're like, honestly, like barely a bike short to me, but I think that this makes them a little more friendly to like short and tall girls because as a tall girl, I still feel like this is a good length for me, but if you're short, they're not gonna like overwhelm you. So this is my favorite color of the contrast stitching, the black with the neon. So you have some of the tiki yellow, the Miami Vice pink and the H2O blue. And these do match the colors perfectly. So you can pair these shorts either with the zip up bra that it comes in the same like color scheme, or you could pair it with any of the solid colors that match here. So I think it's very versatile. This one, as opposed to the Loch Ness leggings, does have a full front waistband. It's a little bit thicker as well. So I just find you get a little more compression here. Definitely a high rise. Overall, the shorts are giving me maybe medium to high compression. I think I could definitely size up in these because they're honestly pretty tight in the thighs. So if you're someone who hates when shorts like cut into your thighs at all, I maybe wouldn't go for these because they're definitely cutting in. I think you can see it is just like a hair snug. So I could probably do a size up to a medium in these. Also something else I noticed about these like compared to the Loch Ness leggings. So the crotch gusset on the Loch Ness leggings is made with the contrast stitching. So I find it stands out a little bit more. The crotch gusset on these is made of solid black stitching to match the shorts. So it doesn't like draw extra attention to the crotch gusset because that's not an area I feel like we really need to highlight with contrast stitching. So we do have some contrast stitching on the side here. The back is pretty similar to the Loch Ness leggings. It does have the curved glute seams. I would still consider these like medium to high on the booty scale. Maybe if I was in a medium, they'd be a hair more flattering because they're just like a little bit snug. And I'm just gonna say it because if I don't say it, then someone in the comments will. I personally love the contrast stitching on these. This was like my top pick from the launch when they like sent out everything that was launching. But some people have told me that it looks like a neon G-string. So, you know, I, I appreciate the comment. I see it, but I still like them. You know, I always got to keep it real for you guys. I don't know. What do you think? Yay or nay? So these definitely don't roll up at all. That's a combination of the length and also just like the tightness and compression at the bottom of the thighs. But I did not adjust these like at all during my workout. So yeah, just be aware of the thighs.
Here is the surf and turf crop to go with that. I also think you could definitely like mix and match this top with like a solid colored bottom too, and that would be super cute. But also the energy fabric goes really well with the wave biker shorts or the Loch Ness leggings. Here's the crop. So if you didn't like the sports bra to go with it, you can definitely do the full set. This also has all three colors of the contrast stitching. Um, this one is a size small, so it's like pretty compressive. I don't really mind that because it just adds like a little extra support to the point where now I'm like super supported and because it is nice and snug it doesn't like move up when I lift my arms and I'm wearing the Rosa bra which is long line under this and the crop top is long enough to cover it so it's not one of those cropped tees that's like so cropped that you can barely even wear a sports bra under it you can definitely fit a sports bra under this no problem say I kind of feel like I look like I'm wearing a wetsuit but in like a cute way I don't know Also in the energy fabric, we have the Loch Ness leggings. So these are not just the wave bike short in legging version. They are a different design, even though they still have the contrast stitching. So you might look at these and be like, is there something missing? Because that was my first thought when I saw these. They have like this interesting like contour design that is much more easy to see when I'm actually wearing them. It looks like there's no waistband at all just looking at them, but they do have a waistband around the back and it is still double thickness at the top it is still double thickness at the top, even where there's like no actual like stitching on the outside. So it gives a little extra compression there. But with that, this kind of like slid around for me in my workouts. So you'll see. Semi-extended crotch gusset, that, which is lined with the contrast stitching on this one. And there's a little more stitching down the back of the legs too. All right, so here are the Loch Ness leggings. And you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about these because I'm so conflicted. So first of all, definitely feel like they ran just a hair small um at the gym i just noticed that like this part was kind of cutting in to my ankle a little bit that probably won't happen if you're shorter because like it just hits me higher up on my calf because i am taller they're pretty compressive as well and i don't know something about the waist just made me feel like they were like a hair small for me so definitely if you're in between i would size up also the first time i held these up i was like did they forget a waistband or something? Cause like the front literally doesn't have a waistband at the top. But now that I've like looked at them like fully on and that it's meant to have this kind of like curved like detailing, I think it's a really cute and unique design. I've never seen any leggings that like do this. And I feel like it adds like a little bit of like hourglass shape. And I think it's flattering, especially with the contrast stitching. But I'll insert some clips from the gym, but I just felt like you could see the inner waistband here. So it's not that there's no waistband waistband here it's that it's not like sewn so that you can't see it on the outside it still has like a double thickness section in here so i just felt like it kind of like rolled up a little bit you can kind of like see it when it rolls up and i also felt like it kind of like went a little higher up here than the sides like you can kind of see if it's not perfectly situated it's gonna like I don't know, I just feel like it's weird for the top of the leggings here to be higher than the side. Obviously it's not supposed to be like that, but because the waistband isn't sewn down, it just kind of happens. So yeah, that's enough rambling about the waistband. Anyway, the back actually does have a waistband. So it continues onto the back and it has the flattering like tapered glute seams, kind of like the live free leggings a little bit. And it has some more contrast stitching down the back. So you definitely get a good amount of this like colored stitching. The energy fabric overall is a pretty thin fabric. So I found that I could see, even though I'm wearing like seamless underwear, you can see like a little bit of the lines. So just be careful with what underwear you're wearing because it's possible it's visible. Um, pretty flattering on the glutes. Overall about a medium compression for these maybe a little less if you size up. And the energy fabric is always super soft and super comfy, but I think just because of this little waistband thing makes them like not my top pick for the launch. There's a lot of other leggings that I'd go for instead if you like the energy fabric, like the siren leggings, but let me know what you think. We'll do a sit test. Let's do a sit test. We haven't been doing sit tests very, very often. So there's no seam at the top or anything. So, so not a problem. Another thing about not having any waistband in the front, even though like there's, there's a little double thickness here, it's just not very long. You're not gonna get a whole lot of lower tummy control. So I don't think these are the most forgiving in terms of lower tummy coverage.
There's also the dive zip up sports bra that I don't have right now, but it's coming. So it may or may not make it into this review. If it doesn't make it into this video, it'll be on my Instagram highlight on my page. I'll do a little story review, so don't miss it. Also, if you ever feel like you're not getting the information fast enough because sometimes it takes me a while to do the reviews, I always do little mini reviews and stuff on my story as I test out the items. So I've already worn like a bunch of these outfits to the gym, so. The Dive Sports Bra comes in four colors. It's the Energy Fabric and it is a zip up bra, but it's not long line. So that's also meant to go with the Loch Ness leggings and the Wave Biker shorts. So that is it for the Energy Fabrics. Now we're onto the Nubri Fabric. So the Nubri Fabric is a 74% nylon, 26% spandex, and it is double brushed. It does feel a little more brushed than the Energy Fabric. I have had some of my Nubri Fabric leggings from Buff Bunny for over two years at this point, and they're still holding up. So not only is it super soft, but it's also very durable, like leg day approved. And it's just a little more compressive than the energy fabric. Also a little thicker too. So there are two main sports bras in the Nubri fabric. The first one is the Revolution bra. Personally is not my pick just because whenever I wear it, it has a really pretty square neckline, but every time I lean over, my girls, they just escape. They just are like, goodbye, we are exiting the bra. So the Revolution bra is not my personal choice, but if you are on the smaller cup size range, it's actually a very comfy and flattering bra. I've reviewed it a bunch of times on my channel before, but yeah, Nubri fabric, it's coming in eight colors. So lots of color options. But if you're looking for a bra with a little more coverage, a little more support, the Rosa bra is back. So this is Tiki Yellow. I think this is also one of my favorite things in this collection. So this one's coming in six colors in the Nubri fabric, but they're also launching two colors of it in the shimmer material from like the Northern Lights collection. So they're calling this the Rosa Bra V2. So it is made of the Elysium fabric, which I'll get into later, but it's this shimmery performance fabric and it's coming in shimmer black and shimmer sands, which is a shiny nude. So I'll post a little try on of this one as well. Is it a little bit different? Oh no, it's the same. Same exact structure as the Rosa Bra. It's just in a different fabric. It feels very similar to me, except obviously a little less soft because it's not made of the Nubri fabric. So let's try them on. I'm not sure I've actually reviewed the Rosa Bra on my channel before. So I have the Rosa Bra in a size medium from another launch. Um, I actually prefer the small. This one is a small. So as you can see, even still in the small, I have total coverage. I think the Rosa Bra is very large cup size friendly. It's also really supportive too. The Nubri fabric just has a good amount of compression. So I get a solid medium to high support. I think it's just a hair higher support than the Siren bra. It also feels a little more long line than the Siren bra. It goes probably about like inch, inch and a half down on to your rib cage. It's the Nubri fabric. So it's so soft, so comfy. There's also no harsh elastics. So I think if you're in between, you could probably size down, especially if you want more compression because there's no elastics to like cut in anywhere. But in general, I would recommend two to size for sure. I wouldn't call this spillage. I just don't think it's like super close to your armpit. Little scoop neck, but I'd still consider this um, full coverage. And then you have a nice solid strappy back, pretty thick straps too. So even though this goes over my traps, I don't find that it really cuts in a lot because the straps one are soft and two is just like a little more dispersed because the straps are a little bit thicker. So, so my larger cup size ladies, this is probably my number one pick for sports bras, unless you like the shape of the siren bra a little better. They're both good picks, but yeah. The Rosa leggings are back with no front seam. These are such a classic legging. If you are used to the Rosa leggings with a front seam, the sizing on these ones is much better. Like the old Rosa leggings used to run like super small and these are definitely more true to size. So Nubri fabric, very basic in the front. These are going to be the most basic leggings launching. So if you're just a basic legging gal, these are the ones. No front seam, slightly tapered glute seams in the back, 26 inch inseam, and it comes in five colors. Okay guys, I knew these new Rosa leggings felt different than the last no front seam ones so these are the last no front seam ones and they're much more straight across with the waistband the new ones have like a slight little dip in the waistband which i think is a little more flattering and on the back the older version of the no front seam rosa leggings had just like a very slightly tapered glute seam and the new ones have more of a glute contour so a little more enhanced on this one so i definitely like the new version i just wanted to point that out because i knew i felt a difference all right these are the no front seam Rosa leggings and I just have to say for a while I went back and forth on do I like the energy fabric or the Nubri fabric best and guys 
it's the Nubri fabric. It's just like so luxurious and so, so soft. The perfect amount of compression and the energy fabric is like close second, but I just love my Nubri fabric so much. So high rise waist, waistband is pretty compressive. Overall, I'm getting about medium compression on these, maybe medium to high. No front seam and really no extra fabric or anything in the size small. So these are definitely very true to size. And we have the no front seam in the front and we just have some very slightly tapered seams in the back. So they're definitely flattering on the glute still about a 7 8 length maybe a little bit longer than some of the energy fabric ones that we tried today and in general I find the Nubri fabric to hide cellulite a little bit better than the energy fabric because it's just a little bit more compressive it's also brushed on inside and outside instead of just the outside like the energy fabric so Then we have the legacy shorts. So no legacy bike shorts. These are just like legacy four inch shorts. This is an old color. This is the Elle Woods color from last summer. I actually never did a full review on these on my channel because I bought them myself like between launches and they never made their way into an actual launch video. So we're reviewing them now super quick. So these are coming in four colors, not including this pink. Again, this is old. They're a true high rise. They have a thick waistband, no front seam, and they have the signature legacy contour details in the back. And if you're someone who's only tried the legacy shorts or anything in the bossy print, the solid colors are much more true to size. So if you had to size up in the bossy print, I definitely wouldn't in these. You can see in the try on, I am getting no swishing in my thighs like at all. And if I had sized up in these, I would have like way too much extra fabric. So I do wear my size small in these and I would not recommend sizing up or anything in the solids, which only solids are launching. These were about a low to medium compression for me, very flattering on the glutes as well, but they are on the shorter side. They're a four inch inseam. And if you're someone who four inch inseams tend to roll up on you personally, any four inch inseam short rolls up on me. So these do roll up on me during my workouts. In order for something to not roll up on me, I need like five to six inch seams. So these are just a little short, still wearable, but a little short, but not long enough to prevent rolling for me. Next, not the most summery item. This is also not Newbury fabric, but it doesn't really fit into any of the fabrics. So we have the Jasmine joggers that are back and new and improved. I'm surprised they still are calling these just the Jasmine joggers because I feel like they need to be like the Jasmine V2 or something because they made a couple improvements to these, including a higher rise zippered pockets they kept the same fabric though and a longer inseam these are now a 27 and a half inch inseam so for my tallies if the old jasmine joggers weren't long enough for you these should definitely be long enough for you now so i'm going to try these on and compare them to an old pair of the jasmine joggers the old pair are a medium because i used to size up in the joggers now i prefer a small all right so here are the updated jasmine joggers and i think they did amazing with these because I always felt like there was a couple things that I'd want to change about the old Jasmine joggers. So they kept the material. It's the same 87% nylon, 13 spandex. Not totally brushed, but definitely soft. They made them longer, which is great for me. I believe the inseam now is 27.5. So almost a full length for my tall ladies. They also added zippered pockets, which is amazing because the regular pockets, I would just never put anything in because they're not secure. That's with like any non-zippered pocket. So super excited to see a zipper added. Seams in the back are the same. They just kind of curve around the glutes a little bit. And as you can see, they are way higher waisted. Like I'm not pulling these up at all. And they are a nice high rise, like literally above the belly button. Love to see it. They fit kind of more like the old Wanderlust joggers, which I always loved how high waisted and snatching those were. In terms of sizing, um, this is a size small. The ones that I'm gonna do the side by side in were a medium, so those are a size bigger. Personally, I wouldn't size up in these Jasmine joggers. Um, the waist, I feel like I have a little bit of space, so I'm definitely not too compressed or anything. Um, I wouldn't say I have like a ton of extra fabric around here. They are joggers, so they're not supposed to be like skin tight, but in a size up, I think I would just have a little bit too much. And they're just nice and snug down the leg. Still have the same little contour lines there. I can tighten the waistband and have it like snatch the waist in a little bit more. Honestly, not sure how much wear I'm gonna get out of these this summer because it's literally a hundred degrees where I am, but I'm super excited to wear these in the fall and I'm glad they made these changes because this just really stepped up the Jasmine joggers.
The next fabric category is the Elysium fabric, and this is like the limitless leggings, the marble leggings, things like that. So it's a sleek performance material. In their description of this fabric, they always say it's their most compressive fabric. Personally, I don't find it to be like their most compressive, but it's definitely the most like performance. It's 73% polyester, 27% spandex, and all of their prints this launch are made in the Elysium fabric. So the first thing I have is the limitless zip up bra. It has great coverage, an open back. It comes in black, white, and the three reflection prints. And it has a little closure detail to help you kind of get the sports bra on. So let's try it on. This one almost has the coverage of like a tank. It's long line. The cup head area goes from like here to here. So I had to like lift the girls up just like a hair to make sure they were in the cup head zone. And then it's also a high neck. We also have good side boob coverage. In the back has this little open detailing with a little crisscross at the bottom. I found that during my workout today, if it like rode up a little bit and then I kind of slouched down, it was like this little, there was like this little triangle that kind of like stuck out. So you can kind of see it here. It's really not a big deal. I'm just pointing that out because it was something I noticed and I was like, what's that at the gym? So it is a full zip up, but it has a little like clasp thing inside. So even if it were to somehow zip all the way down, um, it's not gonna come undone. You don't have to zip it like entirely up, but I think it looks a little strange if you don't just because it does have a pretty thick like inner zipper lining thing. So I think it just looks best fully zipped, very spot wicking fabric. This is the Elysium fabric, which is what like the limitless leggings were made out of. And also pretty supportive, I'd say medium, medium to high. This is definitely gonna be more of a problem with the white and not like the prints or anything that this comes in, but the cup pads for me, were like pretty visible and I couldn't quite get them in the right place. Like they weren't really sitting well for me. And this cup pad, it looks like this is my nip. That's not it. It's literally the cup pad. So um, my cup pad was just like a little bit bent in a way that wasn't super flattering. So we're just gonna take out the cup pads and see if that's better. So yeah, I think that's better. I don't think I need the cup pads in this one. Usually I like cup pads, but because it's pretty thick and compressive, I don't think it's necessary. And it was just kind of bothering me at the gym because I kept seeing the cup pads and I was like, ugh. This is the lowest point that the cup pads could go because there's a little seam on the inside and it just isn't where my boobs want to sit. Oh my God, I'm talking way too much. Okay, that's it, that's it for this one. The limitless leggings are also coming back. Those will only be in the reflection print. If I haven't already talked about the print, it's supposed to resemble light hitting water, which I think they definitely captured that in this print. You can see this is a close up of it with the fabric. And as you can tell, I got mostly stuff that wasn't in this print. I do like a print sometimes, but I'm like super picky about my prints. I don't love like super bold prints. That's why you see me gravitating towards things like the bossy print, which I don't think is like super out there in terms of prints. This one is just a little outside of my comfort zone in terms of prints. We all have our comfort zones. I'll literally wear a full neon outfit to the gym, but prints for some reason, I, I'm picky about them. Whenever they make prints, the base color of the print always has to be the lightest color. So since the lightest color in this design is white, because that's gonna be like the light hitting the water. The print is lined with white. I'm not sure if it's very clear on this, but for like the leggings and shorts that come in this print, when you squat, it will show a little white. So that's gonna be kind of similar to their black marble. Probably gonna be less noticeable because it's not like black printed on white, it's colors. But just wanted to say that in case you don't like that like white show through at all with the prints. So yeah, Limitless Leggings coming back. I've reviewed these before. I have a size small on them, but personally I probably like an extra small just because my size small wasn't super compressive and slid down just a little bit. 26 inch inseam and no front seam. They also have side pockets and yeah, size down for sure if in between. And then there's the Citrus Shorts also in the Reflection Prints. These are a four inch inseam and the glute seams in the pictures I've seen just kind of look straight across so they're not gonna be curved seams or anything. There's also a little like hidden pocket in the back for like a card or key or something. And I think the shorts are pretty similar to the marble shorts from last launch, the, the shorter ones, not the biker ones. Then I'm not sure if they're going to be calling them the Rebel Leggings or the Northern Lights Leggings, but they're bringing the shimmer print fabric back in black and tan for leggings as well. And I've never tried like the true Northern Lights Leggings, but they say that they're now exactly the same shape and sizing as the Rebel Leggings, which I do 
you have. So the Rebel leggings already restocked recently, so I will be wearing these in the try-on, but I'm wearing them in reference to the shimmer fabric, but this is also the Elysium fabric, so it's a sleek performance material. They have really flattering curved glute seams, no front seam. They're a 25 inch inseam, and I measured the waistband of all of the leggings, like I said, and I actually have an extra small in these, and the extra small in the Rebel leggings is actually within the size small range for some of the other leggings I tried today. So not everyone sizes down in the Rebel leggings, but personally, I wear a size extra small in the Rebels because the small had too much fabric for me. So personally, I size down in these. I'd say most people say not to size down, but some of you guys got the leggings in a size down and you liked the fit. So you can just see how these fit on me and decide for yourself. It's hard. Sometimes sizing recommendations is hard because everyone has different preferences. So the under pressure sports bra from the Let's Get Toned launch is also back. So this one is from the Let's Get Toned launch. They have new colors this time, but this is another large cup size friendly bra. It has elastic adjustable straps. The straps are actually pretty stretchy because of that. I only get like about like a medium support in this one. It's not like the most jiggle proof. Has a little mesh insert on the front. The cup pads are removable on this and it also has a three hook closure in the back. This one's made of 69% nylon, 31% lycra and it is a performance material there's also the oasis leggings coming out which i did not get these are also a nylon lycra so i bet they'd be pretty close in material if not exactly the same as the under pressure bra so definitely expect a performance material 26 inch inseam and as i was watching their design video apparently the oasis leggings are brought back from another collection a couple years ago i've never tried them but they aren't like a totally new legging they were around before they're just bringing them back and there's no front seam on these but there is a little seam slash band at the top of the waistband to help them stay up a little bit sometimes with performance materials they can kind of slide down so if you don't like leggings with top seams don't go for these i feel like they're kind of similar to like the outlaw leggings next we have some solid colored flow shorts. I'm actually wearing the flow shorts from the last launch. So these solid color flow shorts are made of a nylon spandex. They're actually a different material than the printed flow shorts. The printed flow shorts, they're also coming in reflection print aqua. Those are actually a polyester spandex material. And I actually find those to be like a little softer and a little flowier than the solid color. So these do have a spandex short lining. The inner lining is two inches and the outer lining is three inches. They're a lot longer than most flowy shorts on the market. So if you're really small, they might seem like a little bit long, but if you're on the tall side, if you don't like your butt hanging out all the time, your butt will not be hanging out in these. All right, so here are the solid flow shorts and I'll do a little side-by-side -side later with the printed flow shorts, but I just feel like these are a little less, um, a little less stretchy, a little less flowy. Like it almost is like too snug on my thighs and my butt that it doesn't even look like a flowy short. So personally, I could probably size up in these. This is my normal size small. The waist also feels a little less snug than the last small, which I think is actually kind of nice because like it's not like skin tight, but it might be a little big if I size up. So I'm not really sure. Other than that, they still have some stretch. They're like way higher waisted than most of my like looser style shorts, which I love. And I also think they're very tall girl friendly because they're a three inch inseam on the outside as compared to a lot of shorts which are like one to two inches they also have the full short lining so you're never gonna like flash anyone or anything and the shorts also stay put pretty well inside so i never feel like i'm showing the shorts on the outside which is kind of like a little pet peeve of mine they have four pockets two front two back and a drawstring waist with these little like aglets that match the color. So yeah, I kind of wish that these fit a little more loose like the patterned ones, but I could definitely size up. So general sizing recommendations, if you don't have maybe as thick of thighs or a butt as I do, then maybe you could go with your normal size, like the waist size. If not, and you want a little more flowiness, size up. There's also the crystal clear top. This is a nylon spandex mesh. So here it is close up, definitely mesh, definitely see-through. There I am. It is long sleeve and cropped. So let's try it on. All right, so here is the mesh top. I do have a small and it definitely has like a boxy fit to begin with. So I don't think you have to size up for any sort of loser fit. 
you could, but I don't really think you need to. The only area where it's like a hair tight, just because this mesh doesn't have like a whole lot of stretch to it, is in like the little wrist area. Like I don't feel like I have like a whole lot of room for my hands and the thumb hole is like a little bit restricting, but at least it has a thumb hole. I do love a thumb hole. So I feel like I could see myself either wearing this like to the gym or like as like maybe a swim cover up. Um, if you're wearing like neon swim stuff. The sleeves aren't overly tight. It does have a little mock neck situation here. It's not tight against your neck though. And relaxed, it hits kind of top of my legging waistband, but it is gonna rise up when you move your arms. There's a little Buff Bunny logo somewhere. I think it's maybe in the back here, a little metal logo. And it's definitely pretty sheer. I am wearing the same color neon yellow underneath it, but this is definitely gonna be the type of top where you can see what you're wearing underneath. Also obviously very lightweight because it's mesh. In terms of sizing, true to size, if you're in between, I I would probably size up though because there isn't like a ton of stretch there's just like a little bit of give Next is the sand dollar tank, which is super cute. This is a rayon spandex. So it's very lightweight, very soft and stretchy. And it's the sand dollar tank because it literally has like a little sand dollar design in the back, which I think is super cute. So here is the sand dollar tank. I'm intentionally wearing this with a super bright sports bra underneath, just to show you that like it will show whatever sports bra color you're wearing underneath it because it's a very thin material. This is for the white. I'm not necessarily sure that it would show colors underneath if it was a different color. Color, the whites just tend to be like a hair sheer. But I usually just wear these over my sports bras to the gym anyway. So I don't really care if the sports bra shows through because obviously I'm wearing a sports bra underneath, but just wanted to say that. So this is definitely like a draped, somewhat relaxed fit. So I wouldn't size up. First of all, super, super stretchy material. Second of all, you can just see there is some extra material and it's not meant to be skin tight or anything like compared to the grape full tank from last summer. Definitely feel like there's more draped fabric here. Pretty high neck, so it's gonna cover whatever sports bra you have underneath, no cleavage really. And then I think that the little sand dollar detailing is so cute. I love the inspiration for this top because like they literally made a little sand dollar on a shirt. It's also a pretty long top too. Like it even covers like some of my butt in the back. On their behind the designs video, they said that this was the Nimbus fabric. At least I thought they said it was a Nimbus fabric. And this is a rayon spandex, so I'm a little bit confused. If I figure it out, I'll post on the screen, but um, yeah. Anyways, there's a couple pieces in the Nimbus fabric, super lightweight, breathable fabric. I don't have anything in the Nimbus fabric unless this is actually the Nimbus fabric, but some pieces that are coming in the Nimbus fabric are the Odyssey wrap skirt, which is basically this high waist, I'd say like midi to maxi skirt with a little tie detail. And you actually tie it yourself. It's not like pre-tied. There's also the Triton tee, which is a boxy semi-cropped tee with a mesh back. And I guess that's it for the Nimbus. And then there's two of the like gym to swim pieces, which look like they're kind of made of like a thicker, like swim, almost like wetsuit material. They're probably not really like wetsuit. I don't know. I obviously haven't tried them, so I really can't speak to it that much, but there's the Aquarius one piece, basically a one piece swimsuit with a little zip in the front and mesh sleeves and the seven seas top, which is a cropped zip long sleeve top. And then the accessories are only coming in the reflection prints. There's scrunchies, headbands, and glute bands. All right, that is it for the video, guys. If I had to pick a couple favorites, if you're more of a biker short person, the wave biker shorts. If you're short, short person, legacy biker shorts. If you're looking for more coverage in a sports bra, I'd go for the Rosa or the Siren sports bra. As for leggings, I definitely prefer the Rosa leggings and the Siren leggings over the Loch Ness leggings. And yeah, I'm definitely happy with the launch this time. Nothing gets me more excited than my favorite fabrics. I'm a big fabric girl. You know, if I don't like the fabric, I don't like the piece. Again, if you do choose to shop the launch on Saturday, June 12th, you can use code Catherine and it supports me. And then you can enter my monthly giveaway. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. That's the best way to make sure I reply to them because I don't see every DM. Sometimes I get either too many DMs or Instagram just doesn't show me all of them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.